When you really get down to it, almost all music is made up of four simple parts. I call them the pillars of music. Pillar number one, the steady beat. Number two, rhythm. Number three, melody. And number four, harmony. Kids, if you can understand these four pillars, you'll be well on your way to understanding how and why music works. Let's go through each, starting with the steady beat. The steady beat is a pulse that stays the same speed. Can you say that with me? Do the motions too to help you remember. The steady beat is a pulse that stays the same speed. You know, I like to represent steady beats as hearts. But unlike your heartbeat, a steady beat doesn't speed up or slow down. Now in music, it can speed up and slow down, but usually it stays the same speed. And that's why we talk about steady beats. So let's try that definition again. Will you do it with me? The steady beat is a pulse that stays the same speed. Great job. Let's move on then to pillar number two, the rhythm. The rhythm is the long and short notes and rests that fit inside the beat. Here, try saying that with me, with the motions. The rhythm is the long and short notes and rests that fit inside the beat. Okay, so we were talking about steady beat before, and we use hearts to represent it. Well now, imagine filling in those hearts or filling in those beats with notes or rests. And those notes and rests can be long or short. An example of a short rhythm would be eighth notes. In fact, they're short enough that you can fit two of them in a single beat. A long rhythm, on the other hand, would be a whole note because you could fit one whole note across four beats. Let's review our definition of rhythm again. The rhythm is the long and short notes and rests that fit inside the beat. Great job. Pillar number three, the melody. <laughs> the melody is the high and low pitches that fit inside the beat. Let's say it together. The melody is the high and low pitches that fit inside the beat. So what exactly is a pitch? Well, most simply, a pitch is a note on a staff. Remember, a staff is the five lines going across a page of music. And by putting notes on staffs, you give them a direction. They'll be either high or low. For example, here, we have two high eighth notes and a low quarter note. Two high eighth notes and a low quarter note. Melodies are what you sing, and they start with high and low pitches. Let's review our definition of melody. The melody is the high and low pitches that fit inside the beat. Awesome. Pillar number four, harmony. The harmony is when two or more pitches are played or sung at the same time. Let's say it together. The harmony is when two or more pitches are played or sung at the same time. So now, instead of having single melodies, we're converting them to harmonies by adding more than one pitch at the same time. Here you can see what it looks like to have two quarter notes played or sung at the exactly same time. Here's another example, another and another. Guys, harmonies are beautiful. I love when music gets to the point of harmony. It becomes more complicated, but it also sounds really, really beautiful. Let's review our definition of harmony. The harmony is when two or more pitches are played or sung at the same time. Thanks for joining me, guys, and enjoy your day.